The area of the rectangle is 84 square inches. Find its length and width, and then it gives us this rectangle here with sides of length x plus 3 and width x minus 2. Usually you reserve length for the longer of the sides and width for the shorter, but it really doesn't matter actually. Um, we need to remember one equation here, and that is the equation for area of a rectangle. Length times width. Okay, so what that tells us is that the area, which it gives us, it says 84 equals length times width. So x plus 3 and x minus 2. Okay, and now this is the equation we can solve. A common mistake here, so I'm going to make a mistake. What I'm doing in red is not what you should do, but you might say x plus 3 equals 84, x minus 2 equals 84. That does not work. That only works when we have a, a 0 over here. But we have an 84 there. So we need to get a 0 on one side or the other. right? Anytime you have x squared, which is what we actually have here if we multiply these together, together. If you have x squared, you usually want zero on the other side. Okay, so let's let's foil these out and see what happens. Okay, so foiling these together we get x squared minus 2x plus 3x is plus x minus 6. All of this equals 84. Now again, we need to get a zero on one side, so let's subtract the 84 from both sides. Look at that. Now we have 0 equals x squared plus x minus 90. Ah, much better. So now we have something we can factor, right? Now let's factor this 90. When we go to factor this thing, we have c is negative 90, so we want and b is 1. So we want factors of negative 90 of negative 90 that add to 1. Okay, and maybe you can just see this one. When we have a small number like 1 or 2 or 5 or negative 1 or negative 2, you want the, the factors are usually going to be close to each other, right? When, when it's a negative c like this. So we could start with 1 and 90 and work our way in, but that's going to take forever. Since this is a nice small number, I'm going to go ahead and start with the numbers closest to each other, something like 9 times 10. Right? It saves some time. If you have a small number here, small number here, and a negative here, start close. Close. So we have 9 and 10. We want this to, to add to 1, but multiply to negative 90. So let's fix up the negative signs here. Let's see. Let's do negative 9 times 10. That gives us negative 9 plus 10 equals 1, which is what we want. And negative 9 times 10 is negative 90. So there we go. So let's finish this out here. This is the diamond method negative 9 plus 10, so this factors as x minus 9, x plus 10 equals 0. And now we can do the zero factor property, which will let us set each one of these equal to 0. x plus 10 equals 0. Adding 9 to both sides gives us x equals 9. Subtracting 10 from both sides gives us x equals minus 10 which we throw out because we want our length and our width to be positive. So let's go back up to our original here. So x equals 9. Going back up to the original problem, we want to keep length and width positive. That's why we tossed out the negative 10. So let's go ahead and plug in 9. So here for length we have 9 plus 3 equals 12. That's our length. And we have 9 minus 2, which is 7. That's our width. All right, so let's finish it out here, make it look nice. Length 
we decided that was 12 and the units are inches inches and the width 7 inches there we go